Charlie, whenever you want. Yeah. Do you see him? Alright then. Yeah, I think we need to do a count. It's all on you now. Five. Five. <laughs> Four. Three. Two. One. Two. 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 Hi guys, Palmer Car Audio and welcome back to the channel. Now, the day has finally come to reveal Charlie's Ferrari F430 to him. Now remember, he's never actually seen this car. He actually bought the car while he was on holiday and have it, had it delivered straight to us. This was last year sometime and he's been patiently waiting for his 30th birthday and that is today. So Charlie will be arriving shortly and um, we'll let the um, festivities begin. No, no. Do you know what the funny thing is? I went to pick it up from uh, Liberty Walk on, I think it was Tuesday. And guess what? On the way back, I got papped on the way back on the motorway and somebody sent a picture of the car to Charlie. Now, it just goes to show you cannot hide anything from social media, but luckily Charlie cottoned on and he didn't open the picture. He didn't, he didn't click it, so luckily, um, we got away with that one lightly. Just goes to show, mate, you can't hide. It's so difficult to hide things these days. But yeah, anyway, we've made it. We're ready. He should be here in about an hour or so. And then, yeah, mate, he's got a bottle of champagne not that big. It's, it's crazy. having to go through deleting it. She's like my mum, she's like having to be like, right, what's everyone sending Charlie today? <laughs> you know what? I Nero Dooby Doo. Look at that. Very nice. Lovely. Oh no. Should we do a countdown? Yeah. Right. So um, we'll start from where? Oh, we'll get a better round here. We don't need a countdown. Where do you pull it from? Charlie, whenever you want. Oh, Alright then. Yeah, I think we need to do a count. It's all on you now. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on, Blake. Pull it off. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Happy birthday. Huh? Happy birthday. That is absolutely unbelievable.
Well, this is it. We are here with Charlie and he has finally seen his uh, Pride and Joy that he's been waiting months to see. And uh, what do you think, mate? Um, absolutely speechless. Um, obviously, a lot of you guys know I've never even seen the car standard. So, um, yeah, to see it for the first time in the flesh like this. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Isn't just mind blowing, it's, it's a credit to you guys, you guys, you know, I've bombarded you with requests, silly little things, pictures on Sunday mornings, because I think of something <laughs> yeah. and go, oh, I'm just gonna send that to Palm. And yeah. then my wife goes, Charlie, it's 6 a.m. on a Sunday morning. <laughs> Not everyone works 24 hours, but I mean, I've owned lots of different cars. I've owned some expensive cars, very well, cheap you, cars. You've been coming to us for years, so we know where the yeah. old journey began. Fiat, yeah. Fiat Punto. Exactly that, Fiat, Fiat Punto, Punto days. And then um, obviously it's progressed from there. It's, it's just a complete different level to anything I've ever and owned before. Ob obviously yeah. everyone that's been involved in this, they've, every, every single person has done an outstanding job. So Jay, Steve yeah. in our workshop, oh, 100%. Uh, Dave um, and Tim at Colourcraft, yeah. obviously Jimmy at Performance Company. Um, it, the work is absolutely flawless. And especially just finding out that it's literally the only one in Europe like this. So this is one it's, of two F430, Liberty Walk F430s in the world, but it's the only one in the whole of UK Europe. So it's just, it, it is more or less a one-off. It's a one-off. and It's incredible. And I'm glad that you put your little touches on there, like your little signature on the sub box. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the turquoise that you wanted on the calipers, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. really made it individual and yeah. it's made it yours. Individual and it, is, and it's, it's you, all about And it's you there, yeah. through and through. Yeah. Oh yeah, so, oh yeah, literally I'm, my dad said to me, he goes, as soon as you go there, he goes, that's a Charlie Grovac car. Yeah. But genuinely felt like I was dreaming. Didn't feel real, spent 24 hours, a nervous wreck. The build up to taking the cloth off the car, I have, I tell you what, and I know this is on video, so here we go, but I felt more emotionally stable at my wedding day, I think. And I was definitely more emotional wreck today than I was when I got married. <laughs> And she knows it. She knows it for a fact. She can see it in my eyes. I was all right getting married. Well, let's just quickly go around. So we, we've kept like the all, all the lower part splitters and all the seals we've kept in satin black. Satin, yeah. Just to kind of break it up a little bit. Um, I don't know if you noticed in the headlights. So all the headlights came apart. Yep. They sprayed the insides black just to darken them a little bit. Yeah, and amazing. Then they, and then if you look in the projector lamp, yeah, you've got your turquoise got reflection turquoise in there as well because I know you like turquoise. So the calipers all, all got uh, Patronus turquoise as well. Yep. Sorry, Mercedes, we put it on a Ferrari. <laughs> I mean, I love um, the colour. It's, it's it looks better on a Ferrari. Then obviously we've got your um, plenums done in the same turquoise with the Ferrari yep. badge in the middle as well. Tailpipes have gone black as well. Uh, all your silver grills, all, all gone black. Colourcraft have done an amazing job on the paint work. It's, yeah, I mean, it's brilliant. I remember making the comment to you saying about the grills yeah. and, and I said I don't know whether we replace them or we paint them and I remember you correcting me on a, on a, on a statement I made when I said, oh, I don't know, whatever's easiest and you went no, not whatever's easiest, whatever will work best and I went yeah. oh alright yeah and you went it's a Ferrari Charlie, <laughs> like let's do it right. And, and then yes. obviously these always come in silver, yep. um, so the side bits on the on the boot on the engine lid they all went sat in black as well um, and then we obviously done you a custom control amount for the airlift yeah no it's, it's um, spot on it's perfect. so that's all the interior and just in the front your air ride install oh, at least i haven't got a crawl on the floor to open the bonnet <laughs> i literally don't even know where any of the controls are for the car there you go yeah it so does in the look front amazing we've gone with a flow tank we've color coded the center of the tank for you as well yeah um, and then obviously it's all it's all lit up as well so it all lights up you can change the color on the lights as well so you can have it turquoise or you can have it yeah. white light whatever you want really so um, there you have it my man yeah, congratulations amazing. it really is just amazing spectacular it's this is part of my story this is me this is my journey and this is my next step and my journey started next Way door back. in car audio with my little punto, my dirty, horrible ripped jeans. And <laughs> this is where my journey's always been. And everything has always been from you guys. There's always been that 100% trust. I come down, tell you guys what I need. 
who say whether it's a good idea or whether I should go for something different, whether I'm spending too much money on something because I don't need that, I should probably just go for this. And the first thing I ever did when I bought the car, I called Liberty Walk and I spoke to them and I said, look guys, this is what I want to do, but I want the kit and I want to sort of try and pull Car Audio involved and, and, and do that side of things. And I mean, I, I couldn't be more grateful for the effort you've gone through, that point of contact and, and, and just liaising directly with them, me, everyone else. I must have bored Motec Detailing, Colorcraft. So I was like texting them all. So and, going back to Motec Detailing, yeah. so um, when, you, when you bought the car, it looked like it had been through, through a few car washes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was very swirly. And Mo, uh, Motec Detailing, I think they pretty much did a three-stage machine polish and a ceramic coat on it, yeah. and it has come up. I mean, it's... It's come up brand new. Yeah, it literally it's looks like a brand new car. Brilliant. So You couldn't yeah. fault it at all whatsoever. So, yeah. But yeah. It is immaculate. But no, honestly, yeah. thank you. It's blown me away. Well, there you have it guys, another happy customer. Actually, Charlie was a little bit more than happy. I caught up with him uh, at the end as he was leaving and he was super, super gassed. So if Charlie's gassed, I'm gassed and I'm really happy with the whole build. We'll quickly run through um, all the products that we used on this build. I'll start from the interior with the audio. For the head unit, we went with the Pioneer AVH Z7200 DAB, lovely motorized monitor. It's got DAB, Bluetooth, CarPlay, so all the uh, up-to-date um, gadgets on it, if you like, which fitted in really well with the rest of the build. Speakers and subwise, we used JL Audio speakers, JL Audio subwoofer, and a three-channel JL lamp. All the individual parts will be listed down below, so you can go onto our website and check out the specs and all that stuff. Um, Suspension-wise, um, we went with Prazis air struts because they did a direct bolt-on kit for that car and the Prazis supercar struts are actually really, really good quality. I love using those. Last but not least, the management. We went for Airlift 3H, our number one preferred suspension brand. And honestly, when I drove the car on stock suspension, it was really, it was, it was a rough ride, let's put it that way. Um, the air suspension has, um, whilst retaining the handling of the vehicle and adding the massive convenience factor of being able to raise it and drop it down when you're at a show, the ride comfort now is second to none. It drives absolutely brilliant. Wheels, we went for 19 inch Rotiform VDAs. I've loved this wheel since day one and they worked a treat. We did um, satin black centers with a gloss black lip just to break it up a little bit and they looked killer. 19 by nine on the front and 19 by 11 and a half on the back. They looked super. And not to forget the Liberty Walk body kit with the um, ducktail spoiler on the rear. Listen, everything came together in the end beautifully. I'm happy that the customer's totally happy with it. So if you guys have a project that you wanna do, you want us to project manage a build for you, get in touch, we can do that for you as well. We only work with the best in the industry, so you can always count on your build being of the best quality. But anyway, listen, you can go back and watch all the uh, previous episodes on this series to watch all the, the build in more detail. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. But for now, I'm off for this weekend, so I'm gonna go and chill out for a couple of days. And uh, just remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel so that we can keep bringing you more wonderful content, all right? But for now, have a lovely weekend and I'll see you next time.